Okay, everybody, in this video, we are going to find the exact value of the expression sine of 10 pi over three. Now, although 10 pi over three is larger than the typical zero to two pi window that we like to look at for um, the unit circle, 10 pi over three will, with the being reduced and having a denominator of three, will be coterminal with one of the angles on the unit circle and it's just our job to figure out exactly where. I like to start by figuring out where three pi over three would be. Three pi over three is going to be right over here because that is pi, three pi over three. To me, it's an easy, great place to start from here, this spot right there. So that went three pi over three. If I go the same distance, I'm now at six pi over three because I was initially at zero or zero pi over three. I could even write zero pi over three. Six pi over three does reduce to two pi. I'm just counting by pi over threes, so <clears throat> I'm gonna write everything like that instead. This technique actually, like even though it might be different than how you do it, actually comes in very handy when we start graphing trig functions. When we start graphing trig functions, we're gonna be plotting five critical values on our x-axis to get a complete cycle and being able to count by increments of pi, fractions of pi is very, very beneficial to you doing really well in that unit. So, you know, double whammy, right? Now, that is the typical window we look at this, right? Zero to two pi. So this is obviously larger. So if I keep going by at least three, then a six and another three means this spot right over here will be coterminal with nine pi over three. So 10 pi over three is going to be the next angle after this. Well, how do I know whereabouts that is to have a visual you know, understanding of it? If this is going to give us three slices of pi at the top, one, two will be the little breaks I'll hit. So we have one full pi over three right there. Then we go that distance again. Now we're at two pi over three. That's three pi over three. And then we keep doing that for five and six pi over three. So if you bust out a protractor, right, and you measure these angles uh, sizes, it's like cutting a pizza, if you look here, into one, two, oops, two, sorry, three, four, five, what am I counting? <laughs> one slice, two slice, three slice, oh, I see what I did, four, whoopsie, this over here, the whole thing is five, I didn't mean to stop there, and six, six even slices, they're all increments of pi, one pi over three, two pi over three, three pi over three, and so on right so could you count one by one i guess if you're maybe a little crazy you could do that but that gets to be a little ridiculous if your angles are quite large so we kind of fast forward and jump and skip right so one two three four five six pi over three seven eight nine pi over three ten pi over three is right here but like i said i wouldn't count every single one usually i'm gonna like kind of skip three six nine something to that effect so 10 pi over three is gonna land here. If you had to draw it in standard position for some reason, you know, you would start here, you would show your angle go around, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you would draw an arrow indicating where you finish, and you should always start on the positive x-axis for your initial side. Anyway, one more thing with the threes, they're tall and skinny like a tree, so they're very close to the y-axis, not like the over six, which are close to the X axis, okay? Now, next thing. Here I need to think of what we call a reference triangle. So right over here is where it would be. Your reference angle is always an acute angle between your terminal side and the closest X axis. So this over here is what I call my, terminal, my reference angle. If that's nine pi over three and that's 10 pi over three, what is your reference angle? One pi over three. So all the measurements that correspond to this reference triangle will match up with quadrant one's pi over three. Now I'm just gonna blow up this triangle right over there. It's gonna look something like this, not my neatest, sorry. So this triangle, I should use a ruler. Oh my God, guys, 
Sorry, so sloppy. So this angle is pi over three, the reference angle. This is 90 degrees. This is from the unit circle. I mean, this doesn't really matter what it's one, okay? A little to the left, a little to the left, a lot down. A little to the left and a lot down. What's a little to the left mean? Left is negative and a little is what I refer to as a little is one half. Down, down is also negative for the y direction. A lot and a lot is what I mean when I'm saying negative rad three over two. So x, y, x, y. We should also know that x and y correspond to your cosine and your sine. So if I'm looking for the sine of 10 pi over three, it is negative root three over two. That is the answer. Would it take me this long to do this for myself? Absolutely not, but hopefully you watched it in double speed. If you already know what you're doing, it should have taken three minutes. Maybe you fast forwarded if you were pretty clear on stuff. I would really just figure out if this were me, I would kind of count out like, all right, six pi over three, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Left a little, down a lot, sign is, the up and down, it's down a lot, so it's negative root three over two, done, moving on, okay? If it's that fast for you, great. If it's that fast for you, I'm impressed and I'm proud of you. So put a thumbs up. If it's not that fast for you, it's like you think painfully slow for you and you're scared and nervous and you don't think you could do it, put a thumbs down so I know you need more practice. And if you do it your own way, if you use tables and you wanna explain it to others, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. Click through for the next video. I'll also have a link to my video breaking down the entire unit circle where I talk about a little, a lot, and medium. And hope that you're feeling a little bit smarter after this video, hopefully, right? Adios.